Now, what exactly is torque binding? Well, let me show you what it does. So you're completely stationary. The steering wheel is straight. No issues, none whatsoever. But now, if I turn the steering wheel, especially at full lock, take my foot off the brake, the car is barely moving, and you hear that? I'm not sure if the GoPro is picking this up, but the car is shaking, and you can sense that only the rear, feels like only the rear brakes are on right now. And then watch, once I strain out the wheel, vibration gone, okay? Other way. Again, car's vibrating. And this is torque binding. This is what it's all about. A little bit on the accelerator, and you just feel the vibration. Strain out the steering wheel, and it's gone. Now let me disable the system. What that means is, this being a 2010 Subaru Impreza, 148,000 miles, I'm going to disable the all-wheel drive system. If you don't know how to do that, I just did a video on this two days ago. Essentially what you do is you put a fuse, a little, little fuse inside the fuse box and it disables the all-wheel drive. If you're not too sure what I mean, just watch that video. It's literally one minute long. So let me do that real quick. All right, now, now I have the all-wheel drive light on the dash. That tells me that we're only running front wheel drive now. Okay, full lock, no vibration, and we're rolling. Before, we weren't doing anything, barely moving. Now we're about uh, five miles an hour or so. So this is what it's all about. Now you can quickly disable the system temporarily as I have it now. And let me bring you in and I'll explain what we're going to do. Okay, so what can you do? Well, on the older Subarus, typically it's something called a transfer clutch solenoid and you can replace just this solenoid. Now this being a 2010 Impreza again, you have to replace the entire valve body. So what that means is you drain the transmission fluid, you remove the transmission pan, the automatic transmission pan, and then you have a valve body, which is easily removable. The problem is it's an $800 part brand new. The flip side is you can purchase one. I've seen them used on eBay for around 150 to 200 bucks with a warranty. I would go that route just simply because this car is already pretty much 11 years old, 148,000 miles. I'm not going to pay something that's 20 to 25% the value of the car. It doesn't make any sense. I would rather sell the car to be quite honest. But what I'm going to do because chances are you want to try to do this the cheapest way possible. So what we're going to try is changing the transmission fluid. And hopefully that's going to work. If it was me and I wasn't doing a, a video on this, I would just change the valve body and just purchase a used one, call it a day, and I know it's going to be done. The change in the transmission fluid, it may work. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm doing this in a sense from a viewer's perspective. I've read on forums, a lot of people going this route. Seems like sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. So we'll give it a shot. And if it works, fantastic. You can use, learn from my experience and go from there. I'll also change the rear diff fluid, might as well. And that's what we'll do in the next video. Now, very quickly, certainly you want to change the transmission fluid on time. Very, very important. You know, through life and just being so busy, I just checked my records. The last time I checked or replaced the transmission fluid was at 60,000 miles. So that means I did 90,000 miles and that's really why I have this solenoid failing. So always change. I try, I should have done it every 30,000 miles, but again, it's learned from my mistakes. Certainly try to, to replace the fluid more often. So that's what we will do the next episode. We will change the transmission fluid, flush it out, put brand new fluid in. We'll change the rear diff fluid and hopefully that takes care of the problem. If it doesn't, we'll do a valve body and that's it. So until then, thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you soon.